Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Wednesday special. Today, a deck that I brewed for somebody that, of course, donated some money to my channel. Appreciate you. You want you really enjoy Waste Not, so this deck is for you. And so today we're gonna be trying out two new cards from the newest set. We have Invasion of uh, Osgul. And just because I want to, I'm going to throw in Wrinkle and Torbrand. I don't know how good this card is going to be, but I'm going to try it and say I played it. <laughs> so that is what we're going to be trying out today in Waste Not. So we're going to be playing Rakdos, not just Mono Black like Traditionalist. We have, uh, so I think this is going to be pretty sweet. If you guys like Waste Not, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and let's get into it. Now, the key reason to be in Rakdos, of course, is Kroxa. I think it's one of the better cards in general for a discard-based strategy. We have Thoughtseize, Go Blinks, Ritual Soot, Fatal Push, Edicts, Colgan's Command. A reasonable discard effect, but not necessarily like required, but also hits on hates on artifacts. We have, of course, four, four Waste Knots, three Liliana, one side for control so we have a little bit more discard we have another call guns command in the board for artifact removal we have two ray of enfeeblements for grease fang model white for duress also for control then we have stinction event we could bring in for discard like gold blank for aggro matchups ley line of the void we could bring in against grease fang and graveyard based strategies then we have two evoke despairs mainly from mono green because it does hate it does eat like two to three permits on average when you face mono green, which really hurts their devotion. So is essentially the list. Of course, our our payoffs is one terror grid, one rankle, three childrens, and two crosses. Now, if you want to do a little bit more optimal and not try out rankle and torbrand, you could just cut that and add another terror uh, grid. Terror is pretty decent, or another crosa, depending on how you want to optimize your list. And let's get into it. Ridge, Gu, Spire, Ginger Brute. That's me. Take it down to 19. Swamp, Kroxa, Gyo, Dark Steel Citadel, the Black Staff of Waterdeep. That's me for one. Black Cleave Cliffs. That's perfect. So I think I push here and then just pass. So I don't want him to gain three. I guess I could wait till he attacks, but I'm assuming he's going to be turning on this Citadel this turn. Yes, which is why I wanted to leave up Edict and have that have him remove. So we will make him sacrifice a non-creature, non-token creature. So land destruction, got it. Plays an Ornithopter, another Soot, Castle. Play Invasion as Ghoul, target you, pass the turn. So now he can't turn that into a 4-4. Four -four. He doesn't untap the Blackstaff, that's kind of weird. Ginger Brute goes to combat, smacks face, take it down to 17. Liliana, play Liliana, minus, make you sack, pass the turn. There's definitely an argument of playing the soot there, just so I have this down tick, eat the citadel, but turns on the citadel, goes to combat, smacks face. Nope, set, smacks a Liliana, sure. Pathway on red in case we draw Urborg, that makes it a dual land. Uh, pass the turn. We'll just draw a castle. Take seven this turn. Kind of bad, but what are you going to do? Cliffs. That's not very helpful. So we're at 10. All right. Shelly. That is sort of a roadblock. Four or five is bigger than a four four. Okay. They draw, lose two life. Play a tap coast. We could choose reign of truth. That way he can make that a decently sized threat. Sure. So do I take five here? I think so. Um, that doesn't work. Yeah, I shouldn't have shocked myself then. Pass the turn. I definitely should have stood it earlier and got rid of the brute. Yeah, grows up. Think I could do it now? Never mind. Okay, we killed ourselves. That's fine. I don't really think there is a way out from here anyways. So this matchup, probably bring that in. And sacrifice base removal seems decent. And edict seems, extinction event seems good. Probably more better than soot. And we can go down to Avriel. It's kind of slow. Go blank is kind of slow. Probably Davriel over go blank. Run it like that. Cliffs, go. Skrell. Pop it. Swamp. Krogsa. I don't have to look at look at look back at that. Did I have enough to actually escape him last game instead of castling myself? 
that yeah i might have totally missed that blade sure another land not really helpful pass the turn you could turn on mutable but that's not really a great clock for him we'll take it of course down to an 18 but another land that's not what i'm looking for of course i'm not going to miss a land drop so i can make this lock lane cheaper dark steel citadel turns on the mutable equips the mutable it hits me for four seems reasonable we'll draw take three thought seize okay that's not terrible we'll thought seize definitely take reign of truth and play ridge past the turn he can install artifact here if he had another land he has spire so he can put the install artifact here play the spire turn on me to vault all right so he just equips that's not really what i was hoping for but you know what i'm just gonna let him go to combat artifact i guess discard and blow up the blade i was hoping he would turn this on so i could shoot this for two all right i need a edict effect off the top i have like six. Oh my god kind of ridiculous wow couldn't find anything huh all right so oh and one. Oh my god too deep we would have had non-stop answers to this oh and one let's get into the next ridge go swamp thought seizes i just want lands take shelly waste not i mean that's i guess a decent card we'll play it watery grave tapped passes pathway on red go blank make a zombie and produce two black can't really do anything with the double black but we'll pass the turn is this rogues i think it's rogues island kaito draws a card we draw a card sweet thank you thankfully because well we we want to land all right that's a tap land that works go to combat hit your face with a zombie token hit that face baby down to 16 okay draws we draw a card sweet waste not doing great things because of kaito we draw a blood crypt swamp push it push that thing please all right we untap another blood crypt play a blood crypt oh my okay i was trying to play tear grid <laughs> okay okay you got me mtgo you got me shieldred ah uh, still can't believe that because I definitely I would be getting whatever he discards right now. If I would have this down. All right. So we produce mana. He gains some life. We'll just, I guess, play invasion. Passes. Invasion. So you have your choice. You could either sack the Shelly or the Kaito. Sacks the Kaito. Play Urborg. Play Lantern. Target you. He takes the three. Pass the turn. Fairy Mastermind. Was your last card? Thought, soaring thought thief did both at sorcery speed really seems a little daring okay take four down to ten play the land target you turn on the hive go to combat attack eat kaido takes the damage push mastermind past the turn so we take six seven we're at we're at one all right drops down another fairy mastermind take five down to three take two on upkeep that is a horrible draw yeah can't do nothing with that liliana over davriel invoke despair over ritual set i don't like that i guess ridge go mm. dark slick shores passes hive that's pretty decent thought sees. take drown on the lock bastard i'm assuming a uh, thought thief is coming inbound some reason he likes to play these at sorcery speed. Kill that. Tapped. I think I'm going to save my life total. Thought sees. Take Kaido. Pass the turn. So he just left with a stroke. So that's pretty decent. Plays a tapped hive. He top decks a thief. Okie dokie. Passes. Waste not. Play waste not. Pass the turn. Don't worry I did this because I know he has all lands in hand. So the odds of me getting double black, double black is pretty high, which lets me to ramp into a terror grid or something. Maybe if I draw a land right here, hits me, makes me mill a Kroxa and an invasion, which the milling the Kroxa is pretty decent. Go blank. Discards are two things. Sweet. I get a land. I get a card. So I just push the thought thief 
and pass the turn. So he got rid of his stroke, which I guess is fine. I do need a land off the top. He's probably going to turn on the hive here. Yeah, yeah, seems good. Tax eats my Croxa. Seems like a necessary evil. Come on, give me a land. I don't even care if it's tapped. Colgan's command. Pass the turn. Turns on the hive. Make him sack it. Land. Croxa. Play the Croxa. Get, still have a red up in case he discards a land. Can Colgan's command get back Croxa? Make him discard another card? Best case scenario, he mills a uh, instant or sorcery. Yeah, we draw a card. Dang it, I was like, hopefully we get a land. We are so unlucky when it comes to these lands. I mean, we have the cards to close this game out. We just can't, gotta avoid dying to uh, rogues. Blood Crypt tapped. So I think I want to put a set stop on his draw step. And I'm just going to call against command. Discard. I don't think I want to return the Kroxa. So we'll just do that. We draw another card. Five. That's not bad. That means I get to get a five drop next turn. Oh my god, we drew our, our brand new card. Sweet. I could have also played Kroxa this turn. But double Waste Knot. That's why we're here. More Waste Knot, the better. I'm going to try to rankle this turn. Plays a Mastermind. Passes. Play Tear Grid. Tear Grid. Drown on the lock. Wait, go for the throat. Player sacrifices a treasure token. Creates a treasure token. Sacrifices a creature. This does not discard. I forgot. I got rid of that mode on Rankle. Why? <laughs> it should do that. It's totally what fairies do. They make you discard. Why doesn't this... Why did he lose that ability? All right, hits me for two. Down to ten. Shieldred. Play the Shieldred. Pass the turn. I guess you drew a removal spell. Come on. Come on. That is ridiculous. Yeah, down to five. Go blank. That's a dead draw. Is Evoke Despair even good here? So they sack this. They take two, take two. We draw two, which means he draws one. And uh, we're here to rankle. We'll just rankle. And it can block this without dying. So it has first strike. Pass the turn. Now, if he kills it, he wins. Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, that's fine. That's not the end of the world. Do you attack me? No. I think I have to play Shieldred so I can start gaining life. Pass the turn. I can't really play it because I can't play Invoke Despair until this mastermind, Mastermind's off the table. I can't have him drawing extra cards. That doesn't seem good. He attacks with everything. So we have to block here. So that means it dies. This becomes a 3-2 and a 2-1. So then I have to block here. Yeah, take it. Down to two. We untap. Play a land. Now we can invoke. Go to combat. Hit ya. Create a treasure token. So that way we have an edict up. Pass the turn. Place a tap land. That's good. Another invoke despair. Get back Kroxa. Which really helps against rogues. Because that's less for drown the lock. Play Liliana. Uptick Liliana. Get rid of the go blank. Smack face. Create another treasure. Pass the turn. So we have two treasures for this edict, just in case. Got it. I think Colgan's command, up a duress, up two duresses, I think. Maybe go down a go blank since we're on the draw. I don't like that. Okay, Thieves Guild Enforcer. Mills me. That's good. Plans of Thoughtseize is out of the way. Fatal push. Play Hive. Thoughtseize. Take Shelly. Pass the turn. Thank God we got rid of that. Because it's like the only card that could actually, you know, get out of hand. So, play the land. Hits me for one. Down to 17. I could definitely push this, or I can Kroxa this turn. Well, Cliffs and Kroxa. Use most of my mana this turn. This this card's Ottawara. Uh, I don't know if there's another pathway in his hand or not. So next turn we're going we're gonna to Urborg. I mean, Blood Crypt tapped. We could push this, since... Disdainful Stroke is kind of medium right now. He has no land, so that, yeah, he doesn't have that in hand. Go for a push. Play Blood Crypt, tapped, pass the turn. So we're one card away in the graveyard for Kroxa. What are you going to play? Kaito. Uptex Kaito, I assume. Yeah, gets rid of the Stroke. So I could play the backside of Terror Grid. Waste Knot. Interesting. I think I Waste Knot here. Pass the turn. I could have definitely left this up, got back Croaks up. That would have gave me enough cards in the yard. But I think I'm fine with this. Because now I get to Pathway on red. 
and then play Thurgood. Pass the turn. So next turn, I can attack a Numa and then cast Kroxa, which should give me something good for this Turgrid. Drown on the lock, I'll go for the throat. Okay, discards a Fairy Mastermind. We get a threat, which we can start hitting this Kaito with. Hits me for two, down to 14. I'm still comfortable with my current position, though. You should have waited to uptake the Kaito until after attacks. Play that on red. Black, red. Another waste knot. Go to combat. Hit Kaido. Get back Kroxa. So we get two zombies. Pretty decent. We just pass. Ironically, him discarding cards could make him draw extra cards. His fairy mastermind. Hits me. Seems decent. Makes me mill. So that's good. So if he ever kills Kroxa, I have more stuff in the yard. Upticks Kaido. Invasion. Make you sack. What are you going to sack? Kaido. Sack Kaido. So I think at this point, I just turn on the high. Go to combat. Everything at face. Eat the Kaido, I guess. He definitely should block a zombie token. He discards a bank buster, so he draws two. He draws one card, of course. So do you take all the damage? He does. Down to one. Pretty ballsy. Um, yeah. He should have blocked at least two points of damage. Go for the throws. So we'll just duress. All right, scoops it up. One and up. One and one. Let's get into the next. Bug crypt. Tapped. Go. Plays an overgrown tomb. Tapped. High. Play the high. Play waste knot. Go. Forest. Passes. Play the ridge. Go blank. Right next turn we could double spell if you wanted. This card's a land and a creature. We just pass. We can't use the mana. This card is a siege rhino. That's ball. That's ball right there, man. Corsair Crucifix. There's the caves. So there's the white swords for the siege rhino. Black red invasion. We do. We're gonna use this one because it's sorcery speed. The battle, I guess. Two damage is meaningless. Let him do his turn. Plays the caves. We play siege rhino. We'll just edict nothing. We untap. Play a swamp. Go to combat. We have to flip this battle, right? We have to do it at least once in this video. Fatal pushes. That's rude. Uh, we will just turn on, I guess, the hive. We will flip this battle. Hit it. Eat the courser. All right. We get to flip it. Sweet. The dude is, has such cool art. So that makes me happy. He's not a very good creature, but he's, he has cool art. Oh, ah, cool. So we have a 3-2 with Menace. He scoops it up against Siege Rhino and friends. Let's just go down to Colgan's command. Invoke Despair might be worth my uh, effort over a Ritual of Soot. Run it like that. Overgrown Tomb. Thought seizes me. All right. He sees that we have very little lands. You take my Thought Seize. You probably should, right? Because if I know your hand, then I know how to pivot my hand. Maybe I should have kept that other second Thought Seize I put to the bottom over the Shieldred. Okay. All right. That works. It just tells me his hand must be pretty bad. He doesn't care about Thoughtsies. Galta, Gideon, land, land. I think I just take Gideon by the forest, passes, put that on red, he pass. We have a mixed art Liliana's. I prefer this Liliana art, but kind of a uh, red at R. Corsair, and make him sack it. Swamp, Liliana, uptick it, discard Liliana. I figured he was gonna discard Galta. Oath, digs. Take Soren. That'll be good next turn if you can. Castle is actually a really good draw here. We'll just uptick Liliana. That way I could pitch this land and it uh, gives me a you know a draw at the end of his turn. So we'll yield until his next instep. step. Plays a waste. Soren. Do you minus Soren? There's a Golta. And we will draw a card. So we'll minus. Make you eat your Golta. Put that on black. Make you eat your graveyard. Pass the turn. Oath Anissa for the opponent. Godless Shrine. I'm assuming plays the Godless Shrine. Tapped. Yeah. You know, waste not. Seems like a great card for later. Uptick Lily. Pass the turn. Uptick Soren. Passes. We draw a land. So ironically, is not not that bad. We make him pitch his only card in hand. We get to draw. Waste not number two. Pass the turn. This is sweet. This is exactly what I want. We featured every new card and we got to flip a battle. So I'm super excited about this. Like we're doing everything we want to accomplish for this video. So we'll go ahead and draw. Invoke despair. Uptick Lily. Get rid of the push. Invoke despair. Make you sack your Soren. 
and he scoops it up two and one let's get into the wrap up so what did we learn this week about this deck and i feel like we could have maybe got that first matchup too i'm not sure if that slight change by bringing back the croxa i'll find out when i edit the video if it actually i had enough in the graveyard for it and i could have maybe stalled out and maybe took game the first match but the next two like the deck really pe picked up a lot of speed and aggression was able to close out both matchups so the deck actually felt better than i was uh my first impression when i was worried about it because of match one yeah the deck made a huge turnaround i like it so far the list seems pretty solid uh Rankle probably shouldn't make the list you know just because but i wanted to play it and i was in rakdos so it felt like a great deck to play it in but probably should just be another uh Kroxa. or of course you like I said if you want to do another turgrid you can but right the supporting pieces around this actually felt pretty solid and the lands felt pretty decent the other card you could consider maybe is fable and the mirror breaker just because, well, it, it's cracked. It's the best card in the format. It's better than uh, expressive iteration. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> but if you uh, if you got this far and you disagree with me, put it down in chat <laughs> or the uh, comment section below. But yeah, I think it's better in Pioneer. It's cracked, but you definitely could add that. It's kind of difficult, but then again, at that point, you're becoming less of a waste knot deck more of just racked to the mid range that's not really what this deck wants to be then again we already played three shieldreds so i mean it has a lot of the pieces so but instead of like something like blood tithe harvester we're playing waste knot so that's like our trade-off and we're going deeper into the discard packages which i think that this mat this deck could have a better matchup for grease fang in game one having three go blanks main probably pretty decent in that matchup but like i said if you have any suggestions at all let me know down in the comment section below if you like it don't forget to like comment subscribe before you head out the door and until next time hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day talk to you soon